Joining us in the studio is Dr. Karl-Heinz Steinmüller, a futurist. Now, Dr. Steinmüller, um, fish and meat production is causing a lot of environmental problems. Can humankind actually afford fish and meat for everybody in the future? No, it cannot. Uh, since uh, we have a loss of arable land, the oceans are already overfished, and we have a growing number of people living on the world. Mm -hmm. So what did you do? We can switch to agriculture, which is perhaps not the solution to everything, and we can switch to synthetic meat, for instance, uh, instead of natural cow-grown meat, etc. Uh, but uh, it's not the solution for all the mankind. We cannot feed all mankind according to the standards we have here in the Western industrialized countries. And everybody on this globe has a right to eat what he or she wants. Mm -hmm. We could actually maybe change to insects as a protein source. What do well, you think of that? Well, uh, I've already eaten uh, grilled locusts uh, in honey, and it was quite delicious. Mm -hmm. So it's perhaps not in our culture, but in Asian culture, that you eat uh, locusts uh, or uh, even flies, in, and it is a good pro protein supplier. Mm -hmm. So one could change the nutritional habits, it would help a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, but I think technology has also some tasks uh, to do in this regard. Mm -hmm. There is also a trend towards vegetarianism. Yeah. Uh, is, just, is that just a fashion at the time? Uh, well, I think it's no longer a fashion and it, it's not so much pushed forward uh, by ethical reasoning, but simply by uh, health, uh, since uh, quite a lot of people want to to re eat really healthy things and they distrust meat products since we had such a lot of meat scandal, fish scandals uh, everywhere and so they simply and slowly but surely switch. Another trend is also functional food. Now yeah. that's food which promises, that promises um, health or beauty or a better life. How important will that become? I, I think uh, it has a growing uh, market share and uh, functional food which helps you to become uh, more healthy or prevent some diseases or even makes you more beautiful is quite important. There are even developments like Lactobacterius Pesodorus, uh, which counteracts uh, unpleasant food odor. Mm -hmm. If you eat mm -hmm. it, you will have no sweeting feet. That's uh, tremendous. Do, do you really believe in these effects of functional uh, food? Uh, uh, no. Uh, well, not in all. Not in all. Uh, but surely there are some positive effects. You need not uh, think that all what advertisement is telling you is right, of mm. course. Uh, but there is a bottom line to it and it helps you to get uh, more nutrients, more minerals for instance, so basic things, they are good. Okay. You're also working as a science fiction author. Can yeah. you think of a, a way in the future of people how will feed themselves? Well, uh, in the old days, science fiction writers wrote about the pill with all the, the nourishment for one day in it and you swallow it in the morning. This of course won't happen since uh, Eating is for us a pleasure and therefore we won't switch the pills. But I could well imagine kind of uh, genetically modified human beings which are capable of photosynthesis. <laughs> and so we go out in the bright sun <laughs> with our green skin, we capture the, the sunlight. We'll talk about that in 500 years, okay? Yeah, I'll try, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Steinmüller.